Okay, uh, hello everyone. Thank you for participating in the pitch contest of the e by s challenge organized by the School of Engineering, Tokyo Institute of Technology. Hello everyone. I'm Uematsu, Dean of School of Engineering. I think all the presentation is full of ideas. So I'm looking forward to watching the presentations. As explained before, some teams presenting an excellent idea will get an award. All participating teams can also vote for other teams. So please watch the presentation of other teams and please refer to the good points. Everyone, please enjoy the pitch contest. Students can type the problem right now. They can type whatever or whenever they want. Just state the topic and add tag. All posts are considered as anonymous, so students can post about any problem they face in school. You can add a post to your own list, or tap not interested if you don't want to see the post, or you can even report it when you think it violates someone's right. I can't believe there's so many people here. I agree too. On the other side, teachers are able to shape the discussions and the milestones of their work. This app helps teachers organize the issues, and we summarize the content with inside information monthly. Unsolved is a platform that provides continuous informal public hearing, driven by students for students. Our ultimate goal is to make the evaluation become one of the public indexes for ranking education quality. What is space debris? Space debris are floating objects in space, such as used or broken satellites, parts of rockets, and piece of space object produced by collision or explosion. Around the Earth, about 20,000 effective space debris are orbiting and then concentrate especially between 700 and 1,000 kilometers. Our idea is energy conversion. Debris has huge energy, so we convert this energy into electric power. To achieve this, we consider the satellite so-called SATGEL. SATGEL is satellite retrieving space debris and generating power from electromagnetic induction. This is an image of SATGEL. The structure is very simple. The outer part is surrounded by coil. Its inner part is composed of spring and magnet system. The magnet is pasted adhesive mat. Thanks for the wonderful, first of all, presentation. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was excellent. Uh, we enjoyed it uh, totally. You guys are the only one who's talking about the space issue uh, in, the, in the context of sustainability. Why, in the first place, your team choose this issue? I was a little bit of 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 a little bit the accumulation of salt on the Earth's surface is progressing slowly but surely. Crops will not grow on such land. Now, we can easily buy vegetables on the supermarket. Will this life last forever? This is our new system. At first, embed a semicircular bucket in the ground. Then fill the bucket with water to dissolve the ions contained in the soil. There is a pipe underneath the bucket. Suck up water and remove ions by using reverse osmosis. Afterwards, the left water is reused to dissolve the ions. Thus, we can remove salt with a small amount of water. The left thick ionized water contains useful ingredients for plant growth, so we generate algae in it and let the algae take in nutrients as they grow. Finally, collect the algae and sell them to restore the original fertile soil. The idea itself is very interesting for me, but uh, what about the challenge? What kind of technology push forward these ideas? No, no, no. The mist of water that you would produce does it have any uh, temperature issue? Can it be cold or warm? The, the mist before uh, putting the soap on the body? Yes, actually the, the mist that is generated from uh, normal water is a bit cool. So we're thinking of including an electrical resistance to heat the, the mist a little bit. Two years ago, 
、なんかその離職率っていうデータもあったんですけど、離職率が果たしてその職業の満足度に直接関わるのかどうかっていうのを僕たちは疑問視しているところがあって。ピクチャーです。アサイエンティスト、アンアイティガイ、アンエンジニア、アンマスマティシャン。チャンスは、like most people, you pictured men in these rules. Even though women make up 50% of the population, they only represent around 10% of the STEM workforce. At STEM as One, we are initiating action in three stages to engage girls in STEM. The three stages are like a process of planting flowers. From age 0 to 12, we plant seeds of STEM. From age 12 to 18, we help grow the buds. For age 18 and above, We help make flowers bloom. We provide construction toys designed for girls. And we also let the girls learn coding in a role playing game and make their own shampoo to inspire their interests. Diversity benefits innovation and conservation. Please join us! 私ぐらいの年の子たちがこうやって STEM に興味持っててもなんかな何もできないっていうのもおかしいんですけどなんかファーストステップでなんかおすすめとかありますかそうですね<笑>例えば皆さんが興味を持っていただけることだと何でしょう 3D プリンターを使って自分のオリジナルのスマホケースを作ってみるだとか他者との連携ですねそのあたりについての何か構想というかプランがあったらあの教えていただきたいなと思います理系大学生としていろいろな研究室の方々と共同することによって子どもたちの興味をえっと、くすぐるようなそういったことができればと考えています、えー、それでは、えー、第一回工学院サステナビリティチャレンジ e バイスチャレンジの表彰式を始めたいと思いますえー、ッチファウンダーズアワードイズイバイズおめでとうございますピッチコンテスト結構大変だったんですけど、まあ、一つチームに成し遂げられてよかったと思いますそうですね、3月からこの3人で活動してきて、えっと、このような賞をいただけたことを本当に光栄に思っております。SDGs に興味を持っているということがすごく意外で、知識を深めることができたので、参加してとても良かったです。And it's so fun that we can like do the project about the sustainability, and I hope that like you guys will join us too. Yeah, let's do it next year together. Let's do it in my challenge. Oh. Oh.